Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, woo. Welcome to Halloween day three. I can't believe we are nearing the midst of Halloween. It's only the midst. I've been waking up at five every day and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Woo! Today is gonna be a fun one. So I've been walking around with this idea for such a long time now, ever since I saw Shawn Mendes' album cover, you know, with the mask and the flowers. And it really inspired me how a lot of times people outside of the makeup community can be like, you're wearing a mask. Wearing makeup isn't like wearing a mask. To me, makeup is powerful. Makeup is strong. Makeup gives you confidence and it's here to to make you feel your best you. I, I mean, I did the whole Power of Makeup video because I wanted to end makeup shaming and I feel like sometimes, you know, makeup shaming is still alive. So I wanted to do a Halloween look that is more so about optical illusion, but also playing with the fact that there's still so much makeup shaming going around. So the goal for today's Halloween makeup tutorial, and I don't know if this is gonna look any good because I've never practiced this look. I just wanna sit down in my studio and get creative and try some stuff out. My goal is to come up with a sort of optical illusion mask look where I'm wearing the mask full of makeup and then the other side, no makeup. So it's sort of like the power of makeup 2.0, um, but let's just see where, where it all goes and where it all ends. So if you're excited about this and if you're excited for Halloween day three, then keep on watching. And also if you haven't seen yesterday's one or the day before yesterday, go ahead and check them out. I'll put the links down below. I really want you to check out the other Halloween episodes because I'm so proud of them and I put so much love and effort into them. So um, yeah, let's go. Alrighty, so like I said, I kinda have no idea what to do and how to go about this, but let's just, let's just take it one step at a time. First, I think it would be a smart move to kind of sketch out where we want the mask to go. Apparently, after a lot of comments, people are saying that this is either a mosquito bite or a spider bite, which is great. Okay, moving on, can't wait to be Spider Woman. <laughs> Marvel call me. So when I look at our precious Sean, here is the album cover. And when I look at the beauty, when I look at all of this, I see that it heightens up on the forehead. So it should mirror, <laughs> it should go like this. And it slants down across the brow, straight down, circle up, straight down, boom. Now let's sketch that out. I might have to tweak that a little bit to my not so flattering face. Okay, let's see. Yeah, my God. So we're slanting down here. Across the brow. This kind of goes straight down. I kind of want to be able to highlight the tip of my nose, so I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Center of lip. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I think that should about do it. Of course, we can tweak it in the end, but we're gonna focus on this part of the face. Foundation, primer, concealer, let's get it. I'm so excited for this, oh my God. Okay, bye, Sean. Bye for now. Bye. <clears throat> I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need Shawn Mendes in her life. Alrighty, so for foundation, I'm gonna make a mixture of uh, Lancome. I also put an amount of foundation on my head that could cover a city. You got plans tonight. Sure do, Sean. Sure do. <laughs> I'm just gonna bounce that part of the mask. Now, of course, you wanna try and stay in right the lines, but you know, if that fails, that's fine. You know, that's what makeup remover wipes are for. But if you just like kind of keep the shape going so you kind of know what you're working with, that'd be great. I'm just coaching myself through this entire video. So if you see me talking to myself a lot, which is pretty much every day, um, I'm coaching myself. All right, for concealer, Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Chiffon. 
under the eyes. And if you want to save some money on Jouer, you can by using discount code Nikki at checkout. Of course, I'm gonna set using my Fit Me Loose powder by Maybelline in 05. And for the rest of the mask, I wanna say face mask, I'm using Magic Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, that part was easy. So now I feel like we should go all out. You know, this is the part where we wanna make the mask look like a mask. So when you want to do really extreme brows, this is the time. If you want to do super like extreme, colorful, bright eyes, super like intense and dramatic, now is the time. Yesterday I had such a good brow day in yesterday's video that I want to mimic that again. So let's try. So I'm starting off by drawing a line on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Then brushing the hairs down and drawing a line on the top. Filling in the rest of the brow. A brow gel to lift and sculpt the hairs. And after this, we're going in with like a, a felt tip marker brow pen thingy and really draw in those individual hairs. And lastly, carving out with concealer. I'm loving life right now. We're zooming through this because I only have to do one side. Like I'm cutting my makeup time in half today. Okay, let's do the eyes. And I really wanna go for something colorful today because you know, I wanna play with color, simple as this. I'm using my P. Louise base. If it's your first time here on my channel, welcome. I am honored to have you here. And um, I'm applying that base using a dry beauty blender and just patting that on. And the magic trick is to not set it with a powder. We're going straight in with our shadows. And especially if you're using colorful shadows, you want all the pigmentation you can get. So you don't wanna lose that by setting it with a different powder and then the shadow's not gripping to the base. So. Don't set. I'm going in with this certified Tropical Wonders palette and this has got amazing bright colors. And I wanna go in with the color Bermuda first. And I'm sticking that on the outer part of my crease right here. Oh, that's a beautiful color. You definitely don't wanna take it in towards the inner part of the crease because I'm saving that for different colors. And now you just wanna take the brush and kind of start doing soft circular motions at the edge. And just like magic, just like magic, the, the sort of the harsh line, the harsh edge will kind of like blur out. And surprise, you are now blending your shadows. Going in with this minty shade called Fruit Dove and also placing that brush flat against the skin and right on that edge, I'm doing left and right motions, picking up more color to blend out even more. On the inner part of the crease, I'm using this Toucan color, this sort of yellowy toned orange. And again, just getting that in there, really stippling that color on. Ooh, we're colorful today. And then start doing those soft, Circular motions. So that comes out a lot more yellow than I anticipated. So I'm going in with a brighter orange. Yes. And in the center, we're doing the pink. We're cutting the crease. <laughs> okay, now I'm setting the lid using a lighter shade. Okay, I am living for this. Okay, now I'm gonna line underneath using some neon liners. <sighs> OK, 
Okay. And I just want a tiny black wing to sort of ground the lash line, but I want the, the rest to really focus on that colorful crease and liner. Um, I said baby wing, right? That failed. All right, now let's focus on the bottom. I definitely want to implement those colors, but not as extreme as in the crease. So I think I'm going in with, I don't know. You know, I definitely want to let you decide for yourself what kind of colors you feel comfortable with. Like, even if you just want to do like a wing liner or like a neutral cut crease with this, that's fine too. But just for fun and just because I think color really tells a story, I'm going all out, baby. Opening up the inner corner using a white liner. Okay, time for some lashes and some rhinestones, and then we can finally focus on finishing this mask. Alrighty, so the eye look and brows are done, and now let's focus on cheeks, and then we're gonna start the shading of the mask. So of course, I'm gonna start off by bronzing my skin using my Jouer Bronzing Duo. And I'm just gonna start from outside the mask and then work it in, and then I make sure that the blend is like I always have it and then I'll just wipe away everything outside of the mask later on. Warming up the nose. Same goes for blush, just like you always do it, or maybe a little bit more if you don't do it a lot usually. And then it's time to highlight, and I think highlighting is really gonna pull this one together, so you wanna do it on the tip of the nose and really focus on that cheek and make it beaming. For lips, I'm gonna line to make it dramatic. For lipstick, I'm using the new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Unbutton. And a little bit of white on the center to highlight. All right, so time to focus on detailing the mask. First, I'm gonna wipe away the makeup that went outside of the mask. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is making me so, so excited. So now we're gonna shade in the depth. And you can kind of already see it happening here, how a natural shadow is forming. You just wanna intensify the shadow along the corner here and really create some depth here. Okay, I'm gonna start off by doing the outside. You're just gonna take a brush using a contour shade and placing the brush right up against that line flat, you want to create a shadow. Flat against the skin, up against that line of the mask, and create depth. Okay, seven hours later, after shading all around the mask, you wanna go in with a face powder and kind of control it because now it looks like dirt. So just grabbing your face powder and softly coming into that shadow to taper it out and not make it as broad. And then with the white, I'm gonna highlight just at the border, but staying inside of the mask to create this sort of like over the border effect. I have decided that I wanna make it look like it's a plastic mask. So I'm just adding highlights. And that guys concludes this Shawn Mendes inspired 
plastic mask, half mask on the face using optical illusion makeup. I had so much fun with this, it took me six hours to do. And then at the Halloween party, you could be like, someone please, Oh, my mask. I wanna thank you so much for watching day three of Halloween. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you so much. It's such an honor that you're here with me during Halloween, and hopefully I will see you guys on day four. Goodbye.